Thank you to all of our speakers and, of course, to our beloved survivors for coming out for this commemoration of International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Before you leave, we're going to switch gears slightly and wanted to give you a peek into the future. For months, Gallagher and Associates, a global leader in museum planning and design, has been working on plans for the new museum. Gallagher and Associates have worked on projects locally, like Soldiers Memorial Military Museum, and the National Blues Museum here in St. Louis, and nationally, including the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, the Oklahoma City National Memorial and Museum, as well as the Illinois Holocaust Museum in Skokie, and the National Museum of American Jewish History in Philadelphia. Along with Gallagher and Associates, we want to thank Wendy Dyer, a consultant who has been with us every step of the way up until this point. Before we reveal the new Holocaust Museum and Learning Center design by local St. Louis architectural firm, TR Architects, I wanted to take a second to thank the museum staff who have been so dedicated and worked so hard to get us to this point. So to Jean Cavender, I don't know where she went. <laughs> Dan Rich, who's over here to my right. Diane Everman, who's not here today, our archivist, who does a wonderful job. And if you look up to the top of the stairs to my left, our other staff member, Lori Cooper, herself, herself the granddaughter of Holocaust survivors Simon and Bobby Kahn.